Hello there guys, Vivian Plays Games here, and I'm back with another video, and I'm going to show you a few more ways just to squeeze a little bit more power out of your computer and get the most amount of FPS that you can on the game. Now first one I've noticed that helped me squeeze just a, a few more frames, like two or three more frames, which depending on the game that you're playing, like if you're playing heavy games like GTA, Black Ops, uh, the Witcher 3, it could really help. So, if you just go into your graphics card software, you, uh, mine is also located in this little bar, this little hidden bar area. I forgot the name of it. You could, I have a, a, a AMD uh, graphics card, so mine's going to be the Radeon settings. Or you could uh, download another software to d uh, help you do it. You could download uh, like Sapphire. Uh, since I have a Sapphire graphics card, you could use one of those, or you could use like MSI Afterburner, whatever graphics card you want, but I'm going to use the program that's meant for my computer. So first, I'm going to go into Gaming, Global Settings, and then we're going to go over into Global Overdrive. And right here, we're going to set this power limit to 20, uh, it's usually at here. Like right in the middle has zero, but we're gonna add plus twenty because some graphics cards need just a little more juice than what they really have. So just do that, and that should help you get a few more frames. Next is also depending on the game that you're playing. Uh, if it's more CPU intensive, you're gonna to want to go into task manager now if you're one of these people that are oblivion to what you're installing and you just keep on spamming next 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 um when you're installing apps this will most likely help you so say like uh like skype i have this open for example already where is it here if you go into tools and options it should have something start skype when i start windows now see how that's checked on there? I undid that through the task manager, which if you don't know, you could open up the task manager multiple ways. You could right click on your toolbar or your taskbar and hit task manager, or you could do control shift escape or control shift delete and then control shift delete. Oh no, control alt delete. That's what it is. Then click task manager, it's gonna go black for a little bit. And then it opens up. You're going to want to go to, to set a startup and see how I, it says uh, Skype status disabled. It will be enabled, but you're going to hit disabled. Now, depending on the program, it's going to uh, have a much larger impact. Now, if they say low impact, like how this says low, that says low, then... Excuse me, I have the hiccups a little bit. Uh, you should be fine. But if you have 20, 30 programs, say low or medium, then that's really going to influence your computer, especially on boot up, because that means all those programs are going to be running in the background. So I suggest you, depending on the program, to disable them. Like Skype, I don't need that to be started once I boot up my computer or Steam or... So what, well, I actually uninstalled my other ones. That's Java, yeah, because I don't check Java for updates every single time, so I don't mind if that boots up when I loads up when I boot up. Uh, Microsoft OneDrive, I don't use that, so I disabled that. Um, and then I probably already showed this before, but if you go into deep, you're gonna have to go and get uh, the admin, uh, task manager admin, task manager, then right click, choose administrator. Um, now if you go to details, you just choose the program, most likely the game, uh, that you're running. Right click, set priority, high or above normal, depending how many more frames you possibly need. Do not do, try not to do high or real time, because then if there's like, that might mess up your system. Um, because now your CPU is too busy trying to run that game instead of maybe running a program that needs to run. Now another one is you may also have scheduled uh, s scans for like your antivirus. Um, where is it? 
like uh, you could set up scans. Like if I do scan my PC, I could cust I could uh, set times to do scans. Make sure that your computer is not doing scans. Like your uh, antivirus isn't doing scans, or if you need antivirus, uh, or make sure that you don't have viruses on your computer. Like uh, you could do malware bytes. Um, this you could get the free trial for malware bytes. Um, you could just go to download and just get the free version to get uh, to just to like fix up your computer for now. Make sure that you don't have any viruses. Uh, also, you could do this if you go into a local disk drive, hit properties, bring this up, clean up, disk cleanup, click that. You may have to be admin for some of this, and it's going to tell you how many uh, megabytes and gigabytes. Click all this and hit OK and clean up your system files, because you may you don't need all these like error files. Like I have a gigabyte in uh, my memory dump files, and uh. I'm just gonna X out of that because I just did that earlier. Or you could uh, do this Ch uh, error checking. Check that, and or d make sure that your hard drive is uh, optimized so it for uh, make sure it gets all the the fragmented pieces off your hard drive to help make it uh, find things faster, run faster. Uh, let's see what else you could do. Also, you could uninstall a needed program. So you just go program and features choose a program that I don't use like see see how many programs there are now let's see what programs I wouldn't really need I like Vulkan like I didn't even know I even had this on my computer Vulkan runtime libraries so if we choose that make sure because there's a lot of see they're even loading even more a lot of programs uh if you don't pay attention, we'll have a checkbox click to install other programs, which could possibly be viruses. So the original program that you thought you were installing, uh, yeah, they may say that there's no viruses, but if there is a little checkbox that says to install another program, that could possibly be a virus. Now, I guess the June 9th, that, what else did I install on June 9th? Uh... Just BMG Drive and other stuff. So I don't remember uh, uninst uh, installing this. So since I don't use it, I'm uninstalling it to give myself a little bit more hard drive space. So that's less stuff for my hard drive to go through to find what I need. Core temp. Uh, let's see. I use that. What else do I may not need? Uh, like NVIDIA stuff. I have no clue why I have NVIDIA stuff since I don't even have a NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, MSI Afterburner. I don't need that. I have enough stuff just I'll just get rid of that give me more space on my hard drive and one last thing if you window R and then do percent app data hit OK there may be leftover residual uh, game or app data in here so say like I uninstall Minecraft but or you uninstall a certain app and you accidentally clicked uh, s uh, keep uh, keep uh, inf uh, data files this is where it would be so say like oh screaming B what is screaming B hmm. well say like you did that this is where you get rid of it so like vid like this all has to do with my stuff like voxel I don't use this anymore, so why do I even have that? Like, get rid of that. So, like, just go through here. Like, do a little spring cleaning in your computer. But make sure you don't delete stuff that you need. Like, don't delete. Be like, oh, dot .minecraft. Don't need that and hit delete. Like, you need that if you want to play that app. Unless you're going to have to reinstall everything. So, thank you guys for watching. Here are a few tips for speeding up your computer to get every last ounce of FPS you can get on a game or just have your computer run a little bit faster but remember you can't have a extremely slow computer but yet expect to have it run like a two thousand dollar computer just because you do these steps so make sure you have the respected hardware 
for the game. So, like, how I thought on my laptop, like, if you guys go back to my beginning videos, those that I've recorded on my laptop, those are a lot different than the videos I record now. How I didn't have the respected hardware to do what I wanted to do. Make sure that you have that. Don't have, like, a Pentium processor or an i3 processor um, and, like, a, a NVIDIA... Uh, like a $100 or $50 NVIDIA graphics card and expect, oh yeah, now I'm going to play Black Ops 3 on Max Graphics. You have to make sure that you have the respected hardware for the game and make sure you have enough RAM in the background because you can never have too much RAM. Well, you can, but, you know, you will make sure you get a decent amount of RAM. If you expect to play games, have a few programs in the background, um, get at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. So, thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.